there, welcome to Plan Build Play. In this video, I'm going to be setting up and testing out this Robinson Air RG3 refrigerant recovery machine. Uh, if you want more details on this, I'll also put the link in the description of the video. So opening up the Robin Air recovery machine box, here's what you get. You get a manual, removable power cord, as well as a dryer. And this is for when you're removing refrigerant and putting it in a recovery tank, it dries it out. So if you need to use it again, you can. It has gauges for the high side and low side for tank pressure, as well as uh, some caps to make sure you don't get any dust in the machine. So let me get this plugged in and see what it does. Just for testing this out and playing around with it, I'm not going to be using the the dryer. Uh, I am going to be hooking this up to an air conditioner later to pull a refrigerant out of a system. So I don't want to be wasting the desiccant in that. But I do want to just test out the uh, the pressures it can take. So with both of the valves closed. does seem to have a one-way valve built in. So you can see the pressure drops here, but you still have a vacuum in this one. This is good so if you don't have the machine running and you forget to close the, uh, the valves, it won't uh, leak refrigerant back into the system you're trying to drain. So closing this one just to check what pressures this can get up to. Alright, so that was running with just air pulling in from the intake. Looks like it gets up to about 550 PSI before it has to cool down. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to actually get any uh, anywhere above that. This is just kind of just to test out what it can do. I will also test this out uh, later in the video with the uh, window air conditioner machine. So let's see if it gives it a minute to see if it cools down or if it gets anywhere above uh, 550. So letting this run for a few more minutes, it didn't actually kick on the compressor again. Uh, it didn't go above 550. And you can see it actually lost a few pounds of pressure. It's down to about 450 now. And if I turn this on again, you get the cooling fan, but not the, the compressor inside. So it looks like there's a shutoff in here, and it does lose a little bit of pressure if you leave it for a while. So the next test I have for this one is actually working on a window air conditioner machine. And I'm going to be pulling all the R410 refrigerant out of this. Uh, this is going to be converted into a split air conditioner instead of a window unit. Uh, so if you're interested in the full video on that project, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, go check out the channel for the other videos. So let me get some valves on this. This does have some access points, but they're, they don't have any valves yet. I have some self-piercing valves to tap into the system, so let me install those and get, get on to the next test. I already have some valves installed on the access stubs for this. I'm going to be pulling from the high side and the low side on this. It's going to go through the gauge manifold and then into the recovery machine as well as having it run through the dryer and then out through the recovery machine into the recovery tank using the other, the other hose. So there is still some air in the system. I'm just going to run this real quick to pull that out and then start uh, recovering the refrigerant. So now all the air should be out of the lines. I'm just going to hook up the, the tank. I'm going to pierce the copper on these valves. These are self-piercing uh, access valves. 
and then start up the recovery machine. Alright, so I've had the recovery machine running for about 45 minutes now. It looks like it's pulled everything out of the air conditioner and pulled it into the tank. Uh, this air conditioner had about 2 pounds of R410 to start with, and without the compressor and the air conditioner running, it took about 45 minutes to pull everything out of it. Uh, if you ran the air compressor, it would probably go a bit faster, but I didn't want to do that. Um, other than that, I'm really not sure what else to say about the recovery machine. It's pretty lightweight and portable. comes with everything you need, including the uh, the dryer. Uh, it didn't come with any hoses, so if you don't have a extra um, line to go to your tank, you might want to pick one of those up. Other than that, it's pretty quiet and lightweight, portable, and does its job. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. If you have ideas for videos, toss them in the comments.